what is up guys welcome back to another adventure today we're back at dollywood we are here the day before well two days technically but they're closed tomorrow but the day before flower and food so we're just going to kind of pop around the park maybe get a little early preview on some of the food items some of the topiaries things like that it looks like it's going to be a pretty low crowded day as well weather's fantastic so we're going to go jump on some rides walk around the park maybe grab some food who knows but ready let's go as we're coming in the park i looked over to the left they're coming from a preferred park and there is a big line of people maybe there's some school groups at the park today who knows last couple days it's been a fairly low crowd so i was hoping today would be the same we may not get that lucky but uh we're still gonna have fun with it as we're coming in you can see they do have the uh, photo opportunity out front switched over to the uh, flowers but you can see the sign inside from here has nothing on it so not quite set up yet for flower and food fully well coming down show street they do have the umbrellas out and opened up already and these do change throughout the uh, different seasons I remember what the summer celebration held. I think, it was, oh yeah, we get the kite sky, and then we get those little fall leaves, and then uh, get that Christmas garland bells. Now they do also have the festival shop set up. We'll run through that on our next little circle round, kind of let this little uh, opening crowd die down a little bit, and then we'll dive a little deeper into uh, the merchandise, stuff like that. But they do have some of the topiaries set up. We're not going to highlight those, because we are going to be here Friday, and... That's gonna be the official day for flower and food. So we're gonna let you guys see all the fun topiaries then. But we'll just kinda of zoom around the park here and give you little snippets. So right here in Market Square, this little booth right here, always set up for the festival foods. So you're gonna have some options here. We're gonna have some options over this way as well, right here in the uh, actual market square with the big skillet and I don't even know what the other side's called let's see just potatoes that's all it's called but you can see they still got the menu for what was on the Iowa was love you festival so not giving us a sneak peek unfortunately I was hoping to see what some of the foods were gonna be okay now this one we are gonna show off these I really enjoy got the two little turtles here well three turtles technically so you got the piggyback ones here in the middle of the pond and off in the distance, you got the frog there with its tongue out grabbing the fly. That's a little duck swimming its way to the frog. So as we're working our way up into Crasman Valley, you can hear them working on Mrs. Lillian's here. Hopefully that'll be opened up soon. Doesn't look like they're really doing much, just kind of renovating it up. Sprucing it up. Don't know if the menu or anything's going to be changed at all, but uh, hopefully soon we'll get to find out. Oh, got the little duck topiary out right there in front of the grist mill. And the grist mill is actually not busy at all over there. The line's pretty low, about four or five people. So another thing I just noticed, walking up by the Valley Theater, they've got these black curtains up. So not sure what's going on in there, what they're working on, but uh, the Valley Theater here might have a different look coming up here real soon. Now they've also got banners up for the summer celebration. A little preemptive, I think, since the flower and food hasn't started quite yet. You can see it's gonna run from June 15th to August 11th. All right, now as I'm heading up here into Crescent Valley, right next to the Eagle Sanctuary, you can see these little ropes next to me. They change locations for a certain toviary. Not going to show it on camera so that way you guys can check it out for yourselves if you come to the park on a Friday or any time after that. But they did move one of the bigger topiaries, so be wary of that. As we're coming around, this is probably like the 15th poster I've seen for the summer celebration. I feel like they're almost trying to rush their way through these little festivals, not have fun with them, not enjoy them. We need a little bit of time with them or make the festivals a little bit smaller. Give us several smaller festivals throughout the year do seven eight different ones instead of just the solid four all different little groups here today i figured this would be a ride that would be pretty packed up but 
Mr. Mine's only sitting at a five minute wait right now. Hey, you can see being the newest attraction in the park, it's also one of the heaviest weighted. Everyone wants to make their way up to here, especially if you've not got a chance to ride it yet. It is a ride that you want to knock off of your coaster list, just in case you don't get a chance to make it back anytime soon. And you can see that this line definitely shows that it's coming outside of the front of the queue. You can see coming down the path here out of Timber Canyon, they did plant a lot of flowers here on the edge. Well, some of these not looking the best at the moment, but hopefully they bloom back up. You can see here, made our way into the Emporium. We've got some of the flower and food merch set up. Some of the glassware, some of the shirts. All right guys, so with that, we are done. Real short and sweet, just wanted to make a pop into the park, take a little lap around, see if I can get a little preview of some of the flower and food stuff that is to come. Now we will be here bright and early Friday. We're gonna be showcasing everything it's got to offer from the flowers, to the topiaries, to the foods, to the fun, to the everything in between. So if you guys aren't already, make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. If you are, always appreciate it. Make sure you guys are hitting that little thumbs up and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.